the moon has fallen. Like, for some reason, they nominated me for Best DK for uh, for whatever reason. Like, I don't know why. And it's silly yeah. to me. I don't even know. I don't even know half of the categories that are involved in that award ceremony. All I know is that Next Level is providing the trophies, so sets out the Next Level. Most sought after autograph. Yeah, banjo, banjo, definitely <laughs> from definitely. Matt. Who we got here? <laughs> yes, and if it's not before the end of this year, it's going to drop in value twenty percent. It has to be this year, the original year of the meme. Hey, wait! Didn't you say that uh, <laughs> they got a, a, a finder's fee of thirty dollars? <laughs> Oh, what? yeah. Me. Oh, yeah, 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 a finder's fee of $30 <laughs> to, find to even put you in the same room as me. <laughs> yeah. So they got to get me to get the autograph for you. Yeah. So they need to rent me first. Yeah. <laughs> just it's to get to you so we can get that autograph. It's like a tier system. I don't know Banjo, so please don't ask me for his autograph. I don't. <laughs> I, I think it's better this way. But anyway, hello. This is uh, TSN TV where we, uh, we talk about things. Talk about things. Stuff. And apparent, apparent this is TSN TV where we talk about things. You just said the <laughs> same thing. What? what? All right. <laughs> Can we get the things? All right. <laughs> the episode's over. The episode's over. She's banjo now, dude. Can I have your autograph, the best banjo? Best DK in the city. Oh my god. Uh, no. So, so as customary, you know we have to do a Disney trailer because we have literally done one every week that we started these. Yeah, we do it. Uh, we man, do it at this point. I'm excited for this one though. <laughs> it, it is like, crazy. This one I'm, I'm ready for. It's like. crazy to have three of them coming out next year. Oh, it's insane. Yeah. Three. Have we seen Mulan yet? They haven't done one for Mulan nope. yet, right? That'll be in 2020, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a list of like all the ones that are coming out next year. The Avengers comes out next year too, right? But that uh, the trailer it's, it's for it's Avengers rumored to be tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow? Mm -hmm. it's I thought it was today. It's rumored to be tomorrow. Okay, so well, uh, we got we have Captain Marvel in March. Yeah, so we have like the list for. And we got a lot of stuff coming up in 2019. In, in May we have we have Infinity Event? War Part Two. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. if that's what it's going to be called. Uh, there's a lot they of they speculation. We're going to save that for a whole nother episode. It's definitely <laughs> going to be called Avengers Annihilation. So that's what next week's episode oh, is going to be about. Man. Yeah. Are we really going with the Annihilation? Are they? It's, gonna, it's are they definitely going to be called Avengers I Annihilation. Hope, I hope that that script leak wasn't real because I. Because you read all of it. I, I read some of it, I and I, I don't I don't want that. Um, but anyway, we got topics to talk about, starting with Lion King. Lion King. And the first, this is like the first one that they've made that I'm like ready for. Like I, I'm not down with this Aladdin stuff. Dumbo's creepy as hell. <laughs> um, uh, Dumbo looks <laughs> really good. Dude. Dumbo looks I'm very. It, it might be cool, but right now it looks creepy. So I I'll wait for that. We all know how you feel about Aladdin. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about. We've all. Heard I'm not it. down with that street rat. <laughs> Get that street rat technology out of here. <laughs> so All play right. play the trailer before right, I get like Yeah, just play this trailer. Let's just literally let's literally when they played this trailer, I thought it was like a, a trailer for like a Ford truck or something. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen this. I they got to come across like you the plane. Wait, Vincent hasn't seen this. Oh, trailer. you haven't seen it? Okay, no. so I finally I beat you to a trailer. It's all kingdom. That's James L. Jones, right? Yes. Yes. Look, after this trailer, I'm going to talk about the stellar-ass cast list, bro. Is it going to be like Black Panther where it's like all black people? This is the original Black Panther. <laughs> this is Kevin Feige, right? <laughs> He's not a panther, though, almost. This is John, this is John Favreau. Oh. Okay. Black Lions. John black Favreau. Lions matter? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I got so many chills watching this. When this, when this started playing, I was like... They're talking about making changes to the script. I hope they're all false. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're all false, dude. Like, one of them, they were like, Simba's supposed to be a vegan. Like, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they're like, oh, man, it's just, uh, just the so internet is such a toxic place. So first off, you couldn't do that. Ooh, look at this cast Bro, list. this cast list is a, is a who's who of a Disney movie. Yo, where's Charlemagne the God? He should be on this cast. Like, well, as, who, the, as who was uh, like, Izazu uh, or one of the hyenas? hyenas yeah. There's act, they actually got somebody better, which I'm going to I'm gonna look. Okay, so look. So this movie is going to be off the hook. It is. Not uh, because of, not because it's the, the director of Iron Man is doing it. Not because the dude who was in Chef is doing this movie. It's because, I'm going to read out this cast list. Just stop me if you've never heard of any of these people before. So James Earl Jones. All right. Kim right. Joffrey Jafar. All right, she she weddle Ijojo for. You couldn't even say that right. So you've seen him everywhere. You just don't know yet. 
He played Dormammu in not Dormammu. He played uh, Born. <laughs> he played Baron Mordo in Doctor Strange. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That okay. dude. Oh, that dude. Okay. So Billy Eichner. Nobody knows who he is. Dude, I oh, love I Billy you Eichner, bro. <laughs> You, you guys don't know who guy, Billy Eichner is. This guy is lying. He's actually he's actually an American Horror Story, but yo, if you guys have never seen, Billy I thought on you said we had a killer yep. like cast. Can I finish it? If, if you guys have never seen Billy on the Street, go watch it. It's it is awesome. Is he trolling? He's I not. Can't, can't no, Billy trolling. on the Street is the shit. Dude. Donald Glover. All right. John Kenai. I don't know. Literally Black Panther's dad in Black Panther. Oh okay. Seth Rogen. Why? Because he's Pumbaa. He's Pumbaa. That really? Makes great yes. Pumbaa, which is great. All right. I, I'll allow it. I, I I'll allow think, it. I, I think. Alfred, I would smoke with Pumbaa. Alfred Woodward. I would smoke with Pumbaa. Alfred Woodward, who was um the lady in, uh what's it called? uh Luke Cage. I didn't okay. watch that show. Well, she was dope. Keegan-Michael Key. Right? J.D. McCrary. He's a young boy. He's playing young Simba. So, John Oliver is Zazu. Florence Kasumba is Shenzi. Beyonce is is Beyonce's in this movie. She's Nala, right? Yes, mm-hmm. of course she's Nala. Eric Andre. Eric Andre. That's who. That's who? He's Eric one of the hyenas. Andre. He's a hyena. <laughs> that makes so much sense, and I love it. Eric yeah. Eric Andre is one of the hyenas. I'm so down with that. All right, all right. I just love. So that. this list right here is a who's who of of, of like, people who are in a Disney movie, Mufasa's and about I don't know eighty percent of the cast Wait, who's is black. Playing Scar? Which I'm down for. The the uh, Baron Mordo yeah. is playing Scar. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Because what else are you going to really cast him for in a movie like this? Dude, John Oliver. Yeah, John Oliver oh, is uh is the, is the is the bird. He's a Zazu. Zazu? Yeah. yeah. So this movie is going to be tight. Out of all the Disney movies coming out, this is probably going to be the best Disney remake that they've made until Hercules. Oh, uh, wait. I was going to say until we see Mulan. Until we see Hercules. Mulan. I'm about the Hercules life. Hercules is by and large literally Unless they literally that's the say best, that's the best music. Of the any only Disney way movie. that that's gonna be better is if they retain who puts the glad and gladiator. If that's not in the movie, that movie's gonna be garbage. Why would they not put that in the movie? They may not. That's fire. I don't know. Well, we're not gonna get like any of the musicals from Mulan. I that, see. Then that would make me not want to see Mulan. Yeah, but it's gonna it's be a, a kick-ass a kung, kung fu. Movie. Hercules got carried by the music. Yeah. It's good animation. It's a good story. So but do you think music, they're going to sing again well, then? So they good. should. I hope so. Guys, I'm going to cry I love so the music in Hercules. If they sing, I bet you they're not going to sing. Look, if they sung in freaking... What are you, uh, how do you if, feel if they if don't they, sing? If they put I'm out, out. If they if they put out... You dip, like, done. If they put out a I'm Hercules out. movie where they don't sing, I'm going to go to your house and burn it down because you you caused this. I did this, not the people over at Disney. You did it. Yeah, you did this. Hey, you ain't burning down Disney. You know that. <laughs> Look, man, as long as I get my Mulan first, then y'all can burn whatever y'all want. If to. Disney ruined Marvel Infinite, yo, chill out. You, see, you don't like that, do you? Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> if Disney ruined Marvel Look, Infinite, they can do anything. They already ruined my game, okay? They can do anything. Can I just get Marvel 3 back? Kingdom Hearts 3 is next. Watch. Don't do that. Can you stop? <laughs> Look, when Disney's if in. Game if drops if like January 19th, all right? We got yeah, about a month or so. Don't curse my game that I've been waiting on for like ten years. <laughs> until I was like, since I was a kid. You've been, you've been like, wait, look, I'm telling you, you've been singing in, Herp- in Hercules. Hercules? You, Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> you can sing Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> uh, yo, you if keep we, that at we, home, Quali. If, if we don't get singing in Hercules, uh, you, you never get a good Marvel game again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the trade-off, bro. That's you the monkey's fight paw. Fight me, bro. Don't ever <laughs> make that statement again. That's the monkey's paw. Don't ever. No. Do we have a cast list yet for that? He just read it off. Oh, for Hercules? No, th- oh. It's not It's not confirmed to be happening. But <laughs> It's all just wishful thinking <laughs> at this okay, point. But the Mulan was confirmed, yeah, right? We, we all confirmed. just want Hercules, all right? Her- Hercules, dude. I mean, so we're going to move on, we're gonna move on from something one that's... In, one in three American adults have Hercules. <laughs> so it's just strong herpes? I thought that was like... <laughs> <laughs> you see herpes with just... It's just flexing all the time? Like, yo... You're, Yo. bur- you're burning and, and, like it and, never you goes away. And, you, and you can't stop me from burning, bro. Period. <laughs> I don't like this train of conversation. Can we go to another subject? Yeah, another okay, subject. let's go. Let's go another something. Subject. Let's go something depressing. Uh, so go to the Evangelion, dude. Uh, and none and none of you have seen this. And I just <laughs> is that why it's depressing? No, bro. I'll tell you. Like, okay, so yeah, now I haven't even seen this. T- I saw the trailer. Um, 
And like I know, uh, like I said, I know a little bit of the lore. Yeah. But I know it's a classic anime that people have been watching Man, have for a long this. time, and that they have like a whole bunch of OVAs, and it's really long, and it's really good, people and it's ended up like influencing a lot of other different animes that it's have not, come out, especially like it's not mech that based. It's only twenty six episodes. Oh shit! They almost kissed. That was intense. Oof, influential. Uh, anime. But so yeah, this has been on my time. list of shows to watch. Have you seen One Punch Man? For about five yeah. years now. You know uh, the Carnage Beetle, the yeah. beetle that he fights. Yeah, Carnage Cobbleto. Um, he's actually modeled after yeah. one of the Ava suits. I know that for a fact. The first, he's modeled after the first one. So Ooh. I told you I know some lore, baby. Yeah, but okay, see, so, okay, so neither of you have seen this anime. So I actually, but no, I have not watching watched. Watching this it. trailer, I have actually watched this when I was a little kid, but I don't remember it. I remember like parts of it. Look, yo, this, this shit is this supposed to be like psychologically fucked up. Look, I'm not. I watched a lot of fucked I, up look, anime. I, hey, I watched <laughs> Ninja Scroll as a kid. I mean, so. it was, bro, it was, like, I watched Green, Ninja Scroll bro, as a kid. Ninja so. Scroll yeah. was my first anime. My, ironically enough, my step, my dad. My dad, Tavian Glenn no, he Sr., did not. listen, he said, oh, look, you got a choice, right? You've been, you've been good in school all week. We can, go, we can get this Aladdin, Aladdin Prince of Thieves, <laughs> or we can stay here and we can watch this Ninja Scroll. Even as a child, he knew Aladdin. And I, and, I, and, and I picked the one on the left. Yeah. You're like ninjas. I've seen. Yo, shout out That's to what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like ninjas. Yeah, let's go with that one right there, bro. That was the first anime I have ever seen, and my Yo, dad man. and my dad put me on, bro. Yo, Sto <laughs> shout out to the Stone guy. Lay, <laughs> <laughs> Lay still. <laughs> I don't mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. He if you haven't seen Ninja Scroll, go watch it hey. and, and say, see why the Stone guy is so raw. Hey, that dude, that got, dude was raw. That dude got. Definitely that dude raw. got melted, dude. <laughs> that dude was raw. <laughs> that dude got. That dude got. Yeah. Snee smash, bro. Yeah. I love that movie so much. But Evangelion is like the old school good anime. Like and, bringing and, it back. and it's just like psychologically, bro. This anime is just like it's just it's just it's so fucked up. But it's like a good kind of fucked up. It's like if Requiem for a Dream was an anime. Oh, stop it! Then this is it. Oh, th this look, is this Requiem. Is, listen. I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> listen, bro. If listen. I gotta prepare myself every time I watch that movie. Ask to like, ask? Listen, like, ask to ask. That? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every time I see that black dude in any movie, Keith I'm David, like, I'm like, Yo, Maid Marion. Welcome. No, yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> Maid Marion. Right. Well, welcome. Oh man. I didn't just bring it out for air. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yo, but but for real though, <laughs> I've been trying to watch uh, Eva for like a while. And and the the problem is that it, it's just so hard to find, right? There, you, you Incompletion no, too. There's yes. no Blu-rays. There, there there's, hasn't been a Blu-ray release. There it hasn't been streamed. Like no one has the the license to stream it until now. Thank you Netflix. Yeah. Uh, so you had to hey go man, through, they're coming through on the illegal anime. channels. You had to go through mostly illegal channels to watch this. And, yeah, uh, that's a pain in the ass. They aired that thing on Cartoon oh, yeah, Network you know, like ten years ago, and that's the that's and the that way. was it, dude. That yeah. was it, man. So it's good uh, that Netflix is keeping up with the trend, man. They know their audience. <laughs> that and one time that they know. showed it on Adult Swim, they're like, never again. Yeah, <laughs> nah, man. There's listen, a lot of stuff in it, man. Listen, this was gonna happen. Y'all gonna watch those twenty six episodes, right? And you gonna think everything. And is they're all like good. three or four OVAs, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of content. So to there's cover. a lot of content. A lot of content. So you're gonna watch those. You're gonna watch those 26 episodes, right? Then you're gonna watch the movie, and then when you watch the movie, you f find me and, and talk to me, because that is just like that's the most OD shit I have ever seen in any anime. Period. Period. That's a bold claim, man. I, I, period. Look, I've seen, I've seen some shit in my day. I, I've seen Devil Man Cry, baby. Okay, look. This is the original and the this one, yeah. was, was the Devil Man Cry Baby before the Devil Man well, Cry Devil Baby. Devil Man Cry Baby, the first one was it's like old. old it's, as fuck. Yeah, like, and it was also was known really for its up. all. Yeah, its visceralness <laughs> back then was still held as like some of the bloodiest shit that we've ever seen. It's gonna, it's gonna, it, the the anime is gonna run the full gamut of emotions. I'm ready. I'm so ready. So, Amen. so I, so I encourage everybody who has not seen Ava. If you somehow had know somebody with it on DVD or VHS somehow. Please watch it. 
Ah, uh, they're also redoing fruit baskets. I know that's I not that. up here, but uh, <laughs> they're redoing fruit baskets for those who've yeah, seen it seen and it. read the manga. Uh, it's really old. It's a really cutesy anime that a lot of people came up watching. So if you don't want to get your mind kind of so fucked, come up. You can that. always <laughs> go watch fruit baskets. It's getting remade. Just give so. yourself a snuggle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give yourself an anime snuggle. Get get a snuggie and give yourself a snuggle Aww. with some fruit baskets. And, and, and speaking of which, some people turning into animals. We on you know? we on Netflix. Since since, since we're on Netflix, uh, yeah. So we got a, we got a new segment. We've all we've all seen something on Netflix. So, so we're uh, we're calling this Netflix picks. Picks. P i x. That's right. It's all about branding. Not d i x. Netflix. Netflix dicks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering when Netflix uh, is gonna have an adult section, though. I don't. I need mean, Netflix. Don't to ever, they gonna like, upcharge you the hell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's gonna up- be like 14 hours but of porn. Why? Are you still watching? <laughs> But why? <laughs> like you have internet. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, because it's one. Si- look, I I, I want to be able to watch, you know, like mm-hmm. Devilman Crybaby and then turn around and watch some porn. Yeah. I mean, why not? They, they in they the same put, app. Like, I don't even have to. Like, ex- just like, uh, hey, you've been watching for a while. Um, you might want to see might be a little position. chafed. <laughs> 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 your hands might. Your hands could start a fire there. You might want to. Stop watching. Grab the, some, uh, some, grab ne- some water. Some grab Netflix some Yorno, bro. You might want to rehydrate yourself. So uh, something that's not full of sexual content is actually the show called Black Mirror. We've all seen it. Uh, we've all seen the good episodes, well, except I mean, for Matt is, because there, he hasn't seen Metalhead. He hasn't watched Metalhead. I, I definitely watched it, and um, that's why it's the like only it. episode, man. You have so many episodes in the series that are – just phenomenal. Did you at least like uh, uh, the Starship one, dude? When they were like, yeah, when he kept everybody's personalities yeah. in that virtual realm, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, was yeah, a Starship yeah. captain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one was great. You got the one where uh, they go to the game design house where they put yeah. the thing in his head. Yeah, and he goes through that whole thing. I don't want to spoil that, yeah. but that was no. like really good. Like, mom, mom. Fun fact mom. about that show. A uh, fun fact about that episode in particular. That's actually Kurt Russell's son. Oh, oh really? That's Kurt Russell's son in that. Huh. Yeah, Wyatt Russell, the dude in Overlord, that's Kurt Russell's oh. son. Oh, and uh, 15 Million ah. Merits, like episode two, like yeah. literal episode two of season one, the dude actually was in Get Out. He was in that oh, Dan- before he was in Get yeah, Out as Dan- well. Too. Daniel Kalula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said right there, I was like, this dude's like a really good actor. And then, boom, he gets put in a movie. So, yeah. um I know Linda's favorite. Kill the DJ, man. Yo, like, yo. Linda's uh, going to say San Junipero, dude. Can I just, dude. Uh, just say for a second? I, uh, I stopped watching I this it. show. <laughs> yeah, because, I didn't uh, watch all of them. I, I gave my ex-girlfriend the, the controller. I, I told her, pick you know one that, you, that you, you're interested in. And uh, she picked Hang the DJ, and then the next day she left me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> done with Black Mirror. Yo, Black Mirror did not do that. If anything, you set yourself for that. <laughs> you set yourself up for that, my G. No you should have just picked the pig episode, and maybe I would have oh, yeah. had sex then. How about yeah. that? Not calling her a well, pig yeah, or anything I, like that, but like, it had sex in it. You so framed that I so wrong, though. To see that. <laughs> you framed that horribly. <laughs> Look, no, I, I just I, that's the only one I can think where they had like. Gratuitous sex because so they, he had I mean, It had, happened one time for like five seconds. It's a pig. And they like, you don't have like small sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that you should have picked a different <laughs> episode. I guess I, I guess Linda's favorite. Yeah. What? It's it's San Junipero, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, and funny thing about that is that my, my, my friend, the cat, he told me, he was like, have you not seen San Junipero? I was like, no. I saw Metalhead. That was dope. And he was like, no, listen, you need to watch San Junipero and tell me it's not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen in your entire life. And he was right. Which one is that? That's the one I... I you can't? I can't, dude. <laughs> That's way too much right now. I, I can't. Well, I can't. I'm going to have to check that so out. So how are you going to build it up for people and then just do that? That means, that means they'll it. go watch. I haven't watched all of them. And, like, I've only watched selective ones. And I... Like, we were talking about all, some of these episodes, and I'm like, oh, I want to go watch that one. That sounds really cool. Like, watch them all, I didn't people. watch, like, the one the that you're talking about, them in the gaming house. I didn't see that one. Oh, so. that's that one's Which fucked up. Like that one is so gamers, fucked like, up. That's gonna be f- that's oh, that, there's that one episode. episode that where's... episode reminded me of, of a movie called Existence. Okay. Have you guys ever heard of that? I haven't. Yeah, check out Existence. It's, like, uh, it's it, it's a little cheesy, but it's, like, that. It's a, it's a virtual reality thing, right? Is it like Stay Alive with Frankie Muniz? <laughs> 
I, I, dude, I, I watched that movie. Don't remember shit about it. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, Not I want to watch that. I haven't movie heard that name forever. Out, that, that, uh, it's like the that cube, guy doesn't remember he was in Malcolm but in the Middle. It's new. <laughs> okay, so has anyone Hell seen problems. the cube? The Canadian film. It's like really old. They put these people in a big ass cube. Yes, that like that moves shit's around. awesome. Thank you. Thank that you. shit's awesome. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> Cube Two is good too. I never got to see two. I Wait, was scared. Cube, cube two recube. <laughs> is that the movie? It's that's the that's the fucking movie, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Is it? It's, I don't it's think Cube so. two recube, isn't I, it? I haven't I seen so. number two. I only saw. I need. One. A, I need that to be the actual. <laughs> well, name while you're it. watching for that, I'm talking about the new movie that's supposed to come out. That's exactly like the cube. Like they put these people in a building and then they have to solve clues. Puzzle oh, puzzle saw? room. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Puzzle it, Room or something. It's called Escape Room. Escape Room. Yeah, there it is. I saw puzzle that. Room. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Giant Rubik's Cube. People are inside. <laughs> puzzle. It's, it's a puzzle. weird name. It's oh a puzzle, my God. puzzle Room. Can we make like a live action of the Mind Sweeper? No, the one with the little. Mind Sweeper? No, no, no. Mind Sweeper. Mind Sweeper was amazing. They're making a fucking Tetris movie, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The dude that runs. So why don't we just go just just go all the way, fucking Mind Sweeper? No. That one. That People's needs to legs be able to are being first fucking off. blown Let, off. Let's get a fucking action-packed solitaire <laughs> adaptation. How do you do that? Spider no, solitaire, where Ryan. an actual spider attacks <laughs> you. I'm out. <laughs> I'm I'm severely arachnophobic, no, so I'm I out. Need, <laughs> um, remember the, the game with the little dude spider that would run with the chip? Like you'd have to like eat the chip. What? <laughs> They're like the microchip. Oh my god! What was the name of that? Freaking you talking game? about Tron? No, it was like. Cubert? Yo, let me get a live action pinball. Like the Space oh. Cadet pinball. Space Cadet pinball, dude. Yo, you know that shit was live. Yo, I, I, had... I once produced an interview with a dude uh, who made Cubert. Wow. And uh, I, I, no one cares. Yeah, Go I ahead. was like, you can't Just even name on. his Just name. You yeah. can't. No, I can't. It was I can't. called Chips Challenge. It's literally, really? no one cares. The Chips <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? <laughs> You're too young to understand. I'm too young. Oh my but God. it was the game where like he ran around and he ate the keys and there was like little microchips. Ate the keys? <laughs> yes, ate? it was. I don't remember this shit. It was a game on like, PC, okay? I think I named some old oh, name Paperboy and get on with your life. Paper yeah, Paperboy. Paper Paper <laughs> Man, that game is hard as fuck. <laughs> Okay, I went back and recently played Paperboy on that like SNES. I was like, "How did I do this as a kid? What the it. fuck was wrong with me?" Oh, yeah, that's the s- most this? screwed up perspective to play a game from. Like nothing is straight. Yeah, it's you know, like at like an like angle going, going straight to line, the infinity. Like, fucking worst. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like I have ever. to. I don't. I. I don't want to play a game where I have to be frame perfect to toss a fucking roll of paper. You do. That's the original quap. <laughs> like yeah. for sure. Frame perfect Frame every perfect. time. Something that's not perfect is actually our L of the week. Oh, I can't oh. wait. I'm going to let you go because this is oh. routine for you at this point. L of the week. <laughs> I like how he gets ready. He's this like, yeah. not, I'm, it's not yeah. a joke, guys. We're <sighs> serious about this, but. Yeah. This Damn. shit is funny. <laughs> so This shit funny to me. Once again, and uh, as uh, Linda named it, the fallout of the week. Yeah. Um, Bethesda decided that. Everybody on PC was going to get their money back. And faith was magically restored to Bethesda, right? And then not 48 hours later, they resend that. And they go, oops, we we lied. We're not giving you back your money. We're sorry, though. We're really sorry. And if you need anything else from us, feel free to uh, message us here on these forums. And one guy went out of his way to make a response and of course, this response was so epic that it wound up on Reddit. Well, then someone else saw that too, and they said, "You know what? I've been bamboozled." So not only did they make themselves look bad, but this guy was like, "I'm tired of being made to eat the same ass." So he hired he some lawyers, that. and he was like, "We got to do something about this, guys." So right now, there's a class action lawsuit open against Bethesda Studios for selling this uh, atrocious game to where they're basically saying uh, fraudulent advertising. 
Yeah, it's a. Uh, it was. It's, it's unfit unplayable. to play. Yeah, it's an unplayable game. What that a w- fucking shame, dude. Yeah. We know how many bugs and <laughs> shit is that are, are, are in it, so but it's, it's that many that people are just flat out saying that they sold an unplayable game. Yeah, and they got the ball rolling. So on on Cyber Monday, their game glitched so bad that people were logging in and there was just robots. Just popping up out of <laughs> everywhere. Like, you couldn't even move. There was just robots so everywhere. stupid. So, like, the game is legit unplayable. Like, you can't... The people were just logging into sp- robots spawning. And they weren't even attacking them. They were just spawning. Oh, <laughs> and the game is also comfortably sitting at $35. It dipped down for Black Friday. And then they were like, oh, well, we keep shooting ourselves in the foot and et cetera, et cetera. Just leave it at 35 so We're not going to refund you, but you could still buy well, it. Yeah, if you bought this game you at – buy a at second copy for, like, way cheaper. And then, like, what, slit your throat with it? Because, like, <laughs> I don't see you doing any other thing with it. Like, this is bad. <laughs> So this is like bad. Maybe the second one. So there were like, like, imagine maybe the people the who paid better. $68 for this game, and this or game the is $35 now. Oh, with the power helmet? Like that the apparently the power helmet that comes with it. Uh, Locks you in it forever. <laughs> 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 Basically, uh, I heard that the, the craftsmanship has been the worst out of any one of their free products that they've given away. Wow. And there were already not good reviews for some of the Pip Boys that were given away. So like, and then you put that with this this lamp head like bucket can uh, power helmet and this crap, 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 crap game. <laughs> uh, and I think you have all the makings of how to file for Chapter Eleven. <laughs> 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 no, like, so they were like, we're gonna resent the statement of. Uh, k- giving you guys your money back because we plan on giving a patch in December that is going to fix everything. It's going to fix everything. Hopefully. It's going to magically make the game just Hopefully, but playable. you got to wait until mid-December. It's going to delay. Instead of delaying the game, like Kingdom Hearts has gotten away Maybe. with delaying a game for three years and Bethesda couldn't do us the favor of delaying a game for a couple months to give us a polished product. They were like, we've give been me a break. Build, make this game for years. Like 10 years now this game has been in the making. Like if you watch the E3 conference, like that's what he says. And it's like Diablo 4 has been in the making for like six years. They literally, st- they started that project, stopped it, and then came left it there, it. Yeah. right, just for us to be able to come back to it now. They knew, like, all right, cool, well, we're not ready to release this product. Just keep rocking the old and shit. Dead. And we would have kept playing Fallout 4 and Fallout Shelter. But you guys had to join this rat race before the end of the year. What was the point of waiting until now? If I get this patch, will it delete the game from my console? Because <laughs> I feel it's like it's probably gonna like delete your console. So they were. So it's the only game that you play. <laughs> that's right. it. That's the only. You're right. That's the only way that it's playable. Is if it's the only game you, you put can the play. disc in and like the disc drive There's like no disc. locks. <laughs> There's no disc. There's no disc. Bro. There's literally no disc. If you buy Fallout 76, when you open the case. There's a paper with a code inside. That's why people couldn't get a refund for this, by the way. If that's you were wondering why? why people are flipping over GameStops, <laughs> that's because even <laughs> if you bought a quote-unquote physical copy of the game, you didn't get one. You got a plastic little thing that was yellow with Fallout 76 on it that had a code, and then that's how you got the game. That's why people aren't getting downlo- the, the refunds back because yeah, you had to download this game. <laughs> you didn't get oh a physical God. copy. So they you can't even take this physical copy and eat it. <laughs> or break it or throw it in the trash. You can't do any of that. Can and if you bought like the, the special edition, it comes with just a big-ass case that displays a disc holder with no fucking disc in it. Eat that. What they? What did they? <laughs> so so they're paying. So they're paying me. They want. They want me to buy. Yeah. Malware. <laughs> <laughs> is what this looks like. They want me to buy. They, uh, they, they. Uh, Bethesda wants me to buy malware. Is this your L of the week too? Oh, please uh, say no. My L of the week, which it constantly happens to be with shoes, is you waking up early to try to get shoes. This is bullshit. <laughs> now I'll explain why. Right? Okay. Adidas had me on the website at eight forty-five to pick up this fucking shoe. Right? <laughs> I, I waited on Adidas for fifteen minutes, and then I'm in line. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, but the sizes come up. They're, and they're like, these are the sizes we have available. And I see the 14. I'm just like, all right, cool. And then it reloads and reloads and reloads. And 9, 16 rolls around, and both of my shoe sizes are gone. This is bullshit. So he has, like, dual screens. He sends a photo. And, like, you guys, 
if you don't know, I love shoes. So they're like, I'm staring at it. And like, he has this photo of him looking at two screens, waiting. Like, the shoe size is clicked and everything. And then next thing you know, he doesn't get the damn shoes. And then I go on, like, hours later. And I'm like, oh, look, they have my shoe size available. Like, literally, it's probably 11 a.m. And I'm like, oh, my home. shoes are available. Like, well, I didn't even have to wait. I was just like, oh, poor, poor. Poor banjo. banjo. Poor Eloise banjo has to. You are fucking rude. Poor so, banjo <laughs> has to. Poor banjo <laughs> has to pay. About. I have to pay two hundred fifty fucking dollars let's, for these shoes. Let's see what the shoes yeah, look like. Yeah, let's see what these shoes what are you, look like. What are you trying to buy? Oh my god. That looks like ass. <laughs> you stop hating. Like They're beautiful. They don't look like shoes. Oh I would have bought. Listen, I wouldn't have bought. Listen, I like bought those listen I'm trying to tell. You listen, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell y'all the pictures don't do it justice. They never do. They never do. The pictures never do it justice. Right? No, those Shinrons look fire. On yeah, the picture, yeah. okay? So hell I know yeah, that they're going to look fire the, in real life. But these Majin Boos? No. That's the wrong color pink, dude. Did you get the Vegetas up? For sure that's the wrong color pink. He, he <laughs> didn't. <laughs> he didn't get the Vegetas up. But it's okay. The Vegetas were beautiful, too. It's okay. Like, okay, the Vegetas, they were like these, uh, they, they were blue and yellow, like Capsule Corporation. It looked dope, right? But here's the deal. I wasn't going to get those anyway because Adidas fucking clearly hates me, right? They, they literally, they're literally hounding me so that way I can pay aftermarket for these shoes because they know I'm going to spend the money on the bullshit. I'm just, all right, look, my L of the week. It's these damn shoes. It, it's not. It's not the shoes. It's actually Nintendo. So first off, I'm gonna read you this cringe ass letter that the whoever wrote this. I don't know who wrote this. Oh my god, dude, that's better than. They have purple laces. Yeah, they came with purple <gasps> oh laces. You could god, change them. That's so Sorry, dope. I'm showing him the anyway, shoes. Anyway, so I'm gonna read y'all this letter, and I want y'all to rate it cringe level, right? Okay, I'm ready. One to ten. Give right? me the cringe. To Nintendo, Sora, Namco, and especially Sakurai. Uh oh. As a community, we'd really like to apologize for leaking Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and pirating the game. While, whilst it isn't all of us, a lot of people really didn't want to be spoiled, and we really love your game. It saddens us that all it saddens us all that people would rather be impatient and play a game earlier than intended than actually waiting like good, honest people. All of us here on the internet are really thankful, of, <laughs> thankful of, thankful are really thankful of your amazing game. And those who leave the game are absolutely unforgivable. You listen, I. You listen. <laughs> All the love that went to the game is excellent, and we really mean that. Don't feel saddened that some ungrateful people are disappointed with the game. There are millions of fans who praise your game incredibly, and we really thank you for the amazing game. Yours truly, the Super Smash Brothers community. Now... He spoke for the <laughs> entire community. For the entire community. For the entire community. My now, man's is bold right now, there. Now, I have a question for, for, for the entire Smash community, right? Who didn't have LimeWire? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Who didn't use Kiss Anime? Oh. Oh. That's still that's odd. <laughs> that's, that's 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 real strange. So, if Nintendo gave y'all the game two weeks in advance, there wouldn't be a problem with it, right? Mm -mm. But because the game is leaked, I wonder if they gave out the game to people, right? And they said, "Okay, you can own the game. We're sending it out. You have it in your home, but you can't play it until like tomorrow." How many people would like adhere to that? Uh, well, I mean, I guess they could make it to where you couldn't. So basically, it. the way. So basically, no, if they just really did it like still, on an honor system, if they were just like, do do any of you guys know how like the modding works on a Switch? So I that do. I can, do you lose internet capabilities? So this is what happens, right? So you download the copy. Uh, you so you get your copy of Ultimate. You put an SD card or whatever on a mod. Not Switch. that we are condoning this. We're not don't condoning this, it. Nintendo. Not Nintendo, don't, Nintendo, don't you please, fucking please, come after us, Nintendo? Please, we please, see you. I saw you please, sue, please. sue those people <laughs> for twelve million dollars. Don't have that. Stay money. away from me, and I don't have the cop. I don't please, have it. I I pre-ordered. We're talking about why you shouldn't do it. Don't do it. But I I digress, right? So basically, what, so basically, what happens is if you mod your switch, right? It is basically you're, you're limiting your switch 100%, right? So you can't go online with it forever, right? Because it always has to be local play. If you log on the internet, Nintendo ninjas come at you. They break your console. Nintendo. Then they murder your they family. They break your console. They break your console. They you, murder you, your family and brick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man's went to brick it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look that up, by the way. <laughs> but, but I digress. 
the <laughs> Nintendo the Nintendo people they they brick your console. Nintendo dogs come after you uh, like attack dogs. Oh, attack dogs, bro. They're like attack Nomad, dogs. Nomad, dude, easy. First they block easy. your vision with the Nintendo dogs. Yeah, bro. And then they murder your family. They <laughs> <laughs> look so sweet and innocent. But like, but like, literally, it's like Nintendo. They're not playing, bro. If they see you online with this mod, with this, basically this mod. Now people have been doing it. They they don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know what. I'm, I'm I'm okay with getting sued. Let's do this. Not the fact not the fact that they would get sued, but it's just like you're gonna lose your console if you ever touch any part of Wi-Fi. Yeah, they'll just they'll just delete your Nintendo account like um, just just off rip. And like I said, your your console you can't go online with it because it's a, it's a red flag. So to me, the leak really isn't worth it considering the game is gonna you know be out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and considering it's about to be out in like yeah. like next week. Next week. Yeah. And con and the fact that there's most major cities have like yeah. had the demo available, so yeah. it's just like man, you might yeah on cool. super high performance TVs. But yeah, I mean, yeah. It's so you better can really than feel it's how better. good it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's better, <laughs> but that's still better than God. having to break your your system, and then on top of that. Never being able to go online and play your game. Listen, listen. I'm Look, not, and then play for sued. life. And then, like, honestly, they would come back at you and be like, we're suing you for, like, if they wanted to. I it's mean, probably a violation of term of service. No, it is. Well, because like, I have friends that uh, got the game, like, really early because they're, like, they're with Nintendo. So they have MDAs. Like, they can't. They're not allowed to say anything. And they're the thing, and the thing, they're not even allowed to show a photo with it in the background. So it's like Nintendo don't play around. I've worked social media with them. They really are that crazy. So it's like. You think that one or two people doing that? No, they will go after them and they will sue them. Like that's the kind of people that they are because they don't fuck around when it comes. to I don't need that in my life, please. Uh, Nintendo, please so stay like, where the hell y'all at? So it's not the so the L of the week isn't the fact that the game got leaked. The L of the week is the fact that people are literally like white knighting this, knowing that, bro, you've you've downloaded, yeah, you've downloaded shit this. from the internet before, bro. So there's no reason for you, you to didn't get upset pay for about all that content. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess, like, the, the whole point is, like, there's hardcore fans for this. And, like, I mean, the Smash community. If anything, the letter says they're ungrateful. I feel like they're the most grateful. They are going out of their way to lose this Switch to play this damn game. Yeah. yeah. All right? You're basically yeah. losing it after this because you can't get online with it anymore. That yeah, thing the is, the like, best thing is that it's a big-ass handheld at this point. Day one, they have the fucking day one patch forever. Yeah. Like, they have the day one version of the game forever. They well, once once we figure out who's broken and what's bullshit, they'll never be able to patch their fucking game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The but game they, they've all, they ruined the game for themselves. Yeah, completely. Oh yeah, so that like, means they have to play top tier forever on their version of the game. Yeah, like that's it's not worth it. So don't do it. It's uh, yeah. I, that's why I was like, like, not only is it not worth it. But that letter wasn't worth it either. Like, no. someone took time out of their day yeah. to write that and put that on Reddit and shit. It's like, just, it's a what? silly ass situation, and it's, people are making it more than it is. It's silly, and it, I mean, like, when it comes down for people's content, we've talked about this. Your content is your content, and like, it's not okay to really take other people's content like that. Even though you know we all have watched anime online, and we have all done that. Whatever. I'm not saying that we don't, but uh, but I feel like something this important to people, it. It should be paid yeah, for. Yeah, it, it shouldn't have been that way. Like, yeah. It, it, like, it's not fair, and I agree. Like, there are so many people like you that are so excited for this game, and it's like, bro. You won't get your copy like, until it actually drops. Like, what do you, like, why are you doing this? It doesn't benefit you to do this. So, it's like, you might as well. I mean, some it. people wanted it bad, and I and I understand, like. I for wanted it so bad like that for if some they fucking patch this next day, I'm completely fucked. Yeah, like, I, some, like. I, I was going <laughs> to do it. Oh, shit, like. <laughs> uh, I, Fallout had a day like, one patch, so, like. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I just don't see the point, and I, I, I think that's a that's a silly fucking letter. Like I'm, in, I'm <laughs> impatient. I'm impatient. I, I was gonna do it, but my firmware was incompatible. So, I'd, I, cause I'm, I'm gonna buy like two or three more switches. So. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm it's gonna. It's like I was gonna do it. And I'm gonna buy this game. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this game twice. So. Yeah, I mean, well, I'll we have buy it to. At least. I, I, I at least have to buy it once. STOs, yeah. I feel like it's. That's something that we have to do. Like, yeah, honestly. Like, it's just something that we have to own. Yeah, it's unavoidable at this point. But I, yeah, but I but I digress. So for you, for you, so for you, cringy, for you, cringy people out there who actually endorse this letter, uh, re really reassess what's in your life. And if you got anything illegal in your life, get rid of it. I never want to see you again. Yeah. And that's my love of the week. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'd never want to see you again. I'm, I mean, that's just that's just real spill because you're a hypocrite. I don't associate myself with the likes of people like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, weekly 
TSN TV, are we are we done or yeah, what? We're done. I think we're done. Get yeah, this L off the screen. It's really oh, no. distracting oh, me. Oh no, I'm sorry. It, it's for Linda. Stop taking Clearly. me away. I know it's L right with we're me. Definitely okay. Um, so that was the L of the week. Yeah, that's 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 the L of the week, and uh, we're we're basically done here. I yeah. can't wait for um for Lion King. Finally, Disney. Thank you. Shout out to Disney. That's Is all I want Fallout to 76 gonna fuck up again? I don't. I hope let's so. tune in next week and see <laughs> if it's my L of the week again. Wait, wait, wait. So it's maybe the patch is supposed to drop like right sometime in December. So maybe they'll drop the patch and it's just gonna like break the game even more. And that would be god like. Yeah. Like, An if, entire if, server if, took down the raid boss and got nothing. If but, something yeah. else happens with this fucking game this week, it's it's no longer L of the week. It it's is L, L of the, the fucking decade. No, it's L of the month for this time. And a lot of people are definitely saying this is the worst game made in the last 12 years. No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I, I that don't know. So bad. Pray, pray. I hope, like, the Gamer's pray, Choice Awards has an award for worst game of when, the year. When Prey dropped last year, Prey was trash. Yo, Killer is Dead was god awful. <laughs> so the, the fact is that this is a, a very no. But that's franchise. just. If it's not Skyrim, it's nothing. So we next end so, right there. So next, so, so next week. Can we just do a segment like worst game you've ever played? Oh, yes. yeah. Let's yes. do that. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. And then we also need to make sure to review we need Disney to Marvel's trailer. trailer for Infinity, oh, yeah. so Infinity War 2. If that, if that dropped tomorrow, then yeah. Yeah, if it drops between here and then. And then we're going to have our Netflix, uh, Netflix pick. So we'll we'll have one, and then we'll talk about that again. So, so I'm excited. Also, also next week, guys, uh, we're starting with uh, top fives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we're going to be talking about. Top fives for different categories uh, for 2018 mm -hmm. going into December here. So I think next week, um, top five games of the year. Of the year? Yeah. Yes. I'm top down for that. I'm down. Because you've played, you've played almost all of them. Yes, I have. Yeah, you've played almost all of them. The only one you haven't played, I think, is Red Dead. Yeah, I'm yeah. good on that. But you got that covered, right? Gonna, I do. I'm going to try to get my and hands on like Spider-Man like so I got can that see too? what's yeah, up. So yeah, yeah that, so Red Dead is actually like... Red Dead is like, Red Dead like is front runner. Money wise, runner. that's like it's the biggest game of the year. Red Dead is Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was gonna say you played you played too. Wild. I know it didn't release this year. But what the fuck, Vincent? Vincent no, what, stop you can't. You can't. Game. You can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just wants to throw in a fucking you, Zelda you, title. You can't keep picking Zelda every year, bro. <laughs> You they didn't do anything this year. You they, can't do you it. You can't do it, bro. So top five games. And if Skyward Sword remake so is if Skyward Sword remake is a thing, then you can't pick that either. No. Not before they quit. It. So <laughs> we want to know <laughs> your top five games. So yeah. hit us up on Twitter or on the comments. Put it in the below comments. Yeah. And make sure to like subscribe to us and all that nonsense to keep up with us. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what people say their top five games of the year. Yeah, for sure. I swear, if someone gives me nothing but mobile games, I'm gonna be like, uh, <laughs> "What's wrong with you? You don't have a phone. You don't you don't you play. Don't have a phone. I'm you, done. You don't play Fire Emblem Heroes. You don't play Dragalia <laughs> Lost. You don't. Play <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. You got Again, a Lindy phone? Jar. That's banjo. Matt. I'm Banjo. Chaos Overdrive. I'm Banjo. <laughs> you walked away. You walked away, so your I'm name is no longer I'm Chaos. To some guy. Bye guys. Shit. I'm over here. Bye. Are we in there? Bye. <laughs>